Hello, welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode. Heading from Scotland as it's conquered and heading off to the Lake District. We'll ignore the fact that I've booked as a place right next to a main road. I'm going. You're not going. I am. You're not going. Come for a beer. Well, you know this is gonna be good. So let's get into it. Cue the intro. Well, you join us on another day and we are loaded up because we are starting part two of our adventure. We're heading from Scotland as it's conquered and heading off to the Lake District. We've literally got up at the crack of dawn when it was pitched back, loaded up our vehicles, filled our coffee mugs and now setting off. So this is the long road to the Lake District. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Well, sidekick, are you going to miss Scotland? I mean, this is the first half of the adventure done, but what an adventure it's been. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what an amazing place. I know we've said it loads, amazing, amazing, beautiful, but yeah, this place is absolutely stunning. Can't wait to come back um, and have some more adventures up there. Well, we ticked a lot of boxes, John and Groats up in the Highlands, exploring around sort of the mountains. And then of course, off to the famous and ancestral home of yourself, Loch Ness. And uh, we saw the bloody Loch Ness monster and we pooed our pants and we ran away. Yeah, I mean, I told you, you didn't believe me though, did you? But I knew I could uh, get Nessie out of the water. And uh, we came, we saw and we captured Nessie. Well, I think I'm gonna have to stop doubting all these people that you're related to because the cooking, the curry you made last night, was out this world. You said you were related to a Thai person distantly, You're related to a Scottish person distantly. I mean, we'll have to see how many more tricks you can pull out of that very big hat of yours. Yeah, I'm sure there's still more to come out of my uh, magic hat yet, but uh, yeah. Well, shall we hack down some miles, say goodbye to Scotland and say hello to an adventure and a half that's gonna be the Lake District. Yeah, it'll be a tearful goodbye in Scotland and we'll shed a few tears as we go back over the border. Um, but like you say, we've got a few miles to go, but yeah, let's bring on the second part. Does that also mean that you're going to drop this really weird Scottish accent you keep blouting out every about 30 seconds? Which one, laddie? I'm not too sure what you're talking about there. district is around six and a half hours and we've already managed to cover quite a lot we've got about just over three hours to go it's a beautiful beautiful day that makes me extremely excited to get there just to get out on the bike now from tonight the weather's going to change by looks of it and get quite wet and windy again so we've got a good few days in the lake district to explore it and do some of the things i haven't done before in the lake district and i want to try and put the himalayan for a few more tests and trials as well but we're hamming the miles fingers crossed i can get there and if we've got some good light left we'll go for a little spin if not we'll settle in for the night and get a real solid plan for the next day but we're hammering the miles down i'm excited to get there Whew, this is a long drive again but it's going to be so worth it we are 10 miles away from the campsite in the lake district the weather is still looking good so that says one thing, get there, get the bike off, and just go for the good old fashioned first explore of the Lake District. <laughs> yes, we are almost there. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never got Well, as you can see, we have arrived at the most awesome campsite that I booked that was by far the cheapest 
with lovely hills and mountains behind us. We're right next to a river as well that's amazing, but we'll ignore the fact that I've booked as a place right next to a main road. And the toilets even have a key sort of safe number on it that none of us know how to get in and we all need the toilet. But we'll ignore all of those facts and say right now, we've arrived to conquer the Lake District. So there's literally one thing to do. Well, it's not raining for a change. We're gonna jump on our bikes and just go for a little blast and explore exactly whereabouts in the Lake District. I've probably mistakenly booked us, but it's all gonna be good. So we're just about to go out for a ride and we've got here and we've realized when Darren dropped his helmet that was off camera during our last ride out, it completely destroyed his center, as in the mic's not working. So he's related to a super engineer and electronic wizardry and he's trying to fix it as we speak. But it's not looking good. So we might lose the sidekick on this adventure. Have you uh, fixed it yet? Not yet. I'm just going to get my toothbrush out and try cleaning up some of these circuit boards. Because there's marks on the circuit boards. It might be from where it's got wet. So I'm going to try cleaning them up with a toothbrush. So do you reckon that's what they do in Apple and stuff when they're building like a mat? They just get a toothbrush and give them a quick scrub and stick them together? Well, I've done it with an iPhone before. And it worked? Yeah. Did you sell it quickly afterwards? No, I wasn't using it. And it was all right? Yeah. So you related to somebody that's a super engineer electronic wizard? Obviously. Well, I hope you do fix it because we need you. Without you, it's like losing a little bit of sparkle, like the little bit of the uh, icing, sort of the, you know, sprinkles on the top. You're feeling all right? Well, I don't want to talk to myself in this entire adventure. I do quite a lot of that. <laughs> but <laughs> if not, you just have to shout really loud from your bike. Okay. So everyone can hear you through my mic. Well, it's, everything else still works. It's just the microphone. It's just you can't hear me. I can hear you. That's all right, then. You just listen to me the entire way. That'd be all right. right. No, that'd be awful. No, you'll love it. It's just like surgery. I've got to clean my teeth with this afterwards as well. <laughs> you shall have sparkly teeth. It's just like giving birth or surgery or... <laughs> all of the above. So we're about to test the sidekick's handiwork to see if it's worked. Otherwise, we could have a serious problem. You, can you hear me? You can't hear me yet either. Hang on. Do I need to do the... Hello? 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 Into comparing. We weren't. Now it's beeping. Goodbye. Turn it off. Turn it on. That's what Peppa Pig's dad always does. Hang on, I'm not connected. That's all. You even say goodbye to me. Did it not? You na actually knackered it, knackered it now. Can you hear it at all, Yao? No. Have you plugged it in? Oh, I just got a beep as a connection. Got that? What does that mean? It's a green flashing light, isn't it? Yeah. What do you want? Clean it with a toothbrush and WD-40 didn't fix it then. <laughs> Not yet, no. Cool. Oh, hello. Can you hear no, me? Nothing. Uh-oh. <clears throat> I'm going to take it apart again. He's going to take it apart again. Now, we are planning to ride today. The weather isn't the best and it is getting dark. And we're running out of time as we've been here for roughly three hours trying to make this work. So you've took it apart. Yeah. And you just push it back together. Yeah. And you heard something. I've just heard it in there. What, so... did it, what did it say? Leave me alone! No. It said, Alan's a dickhead. It's not very nice, is it? <laughs> right, uh, let's do... Do us a still in that? Right, that's definitely coming through there, so... Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? No. No. Do you want me to connect? Yeah. Not beeped on mine, so it's connected. No. Try and connect it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> you just press the wrong button. Do you know purpose? To oh, re oh, right, yeah, to reset it. it. Yeah. Look, look, and you're getting hangry now. You need to calm down before you explode. No, we I'm not. <laughs> we know what you're like. We all know what you're like now. Right. Hang on. Let's pop you there. Don't fall over. Let's put on the hero's hat. Ugh. Group intercom.
Come on. Ooh. Oh, maybe. It's, it's connected. Flashing yeah. green. So Hello. Is it me you're looking for? I heard it where your hand was. Do that again. Hello? No. I heard a little noise. No, that's just you hitting your doing finger in your helmet. Oh, I heard a click then. We don't. Oh, I can generally hear the clicking through the speakers. That's not going to help. Do you talk? Hello, hello, hello. What do we have here then? Oi, 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 oi. Well, there you are. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can't hear you. But yeah. I bet for you it's like golden sound, beautifulness. It's horrible. He loves it. Time has come for beer, believe it or not. Have you fixed it? No, I've not. I've had enough, that's it. Stupid thing. That's it. Done with it. Bloody hell. All right. Dude, 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 you don't have what? to... No, that's don't it. have a Mardi. No. We'll go for a beer. No, I've had enough. Going. You're not going. It's your fault. It's not my fault. It's you dropped you your helmet. No, you made me drop it. I'm going. You're not going. I am. You're not going. Come for a beer.